why is it that everything you now in the modern age that you're living in right here everything being so readily available everything is within your reach right at your fingertips yet we are still here with this feeling of dissatisfaction or even this feeling of discontentment and unease keep perpetually fog of our minds so now tell me have you ever you know in the morning just after you wake up you enter your bathroom and just stood there and brush your teeth that said it sounds very normal and very innocent right but i guarantee many of you while brushing your teeth you will listen to music or even watch uh scrolling on social media or even watching youtubes you know the toothbrush on one hand and your phones on the other your brain just craves dopamine right and you cannot resist it so you pick up your phones you automatically you know your fingers scrolls onto exactly on facebook or instagram or tell me have you ever genuinely sit down and enjoy a proper meal any kind of of meal appreciate all of its amazing flavor the texture of it have you ever or even one second being grateful for the food that you're that you're having right in front of you and also the person that's just made you that amazing dish right there this is one of the most underrated pandemic that's happening right now that i really want to discuss in this video and if you find yourself to have one of those sort of occurrence that I've mentioned before you need this videos and honestly i do too you and me we are both victims of you no know, being so awfully disconnected from reality from the present world just because we are living we are breathing we are talking we are thinking that doesn't mean we are in the present moment our mind just wander and busy regretting about something in the past or even planning something to do in the future and that is exactly step number 1 of how to be more mindful is to identify your mental bs or mental shortcomings yes what do you mean by mental shortcomings yes those are the thoughts that keep you up at night the mixtape that doesn't want to stop playing it's just you laying there with all of those unresolved thoughts and notions you know the feeling you know what i'm talking about oh yes and finally you've managed to get rid of the thought that you were thinking about and then another arise and then another after that another one another one another one until it's just enough until your brain is so tired and the the adenosine concentration is high enough it pressure you to sleep you kept thinking until you are mentally drained and your brain cannot handle it anymore so it basically shut down after being able to catch some shut eye comes the morning okay and you you are wake up to your alarms rushing to go to work rushing to brush your teeth to get all of your morning routine sorted out if if you're free that day or maybe you will wake up and immediately reach for your phones 
It just starts scrolling mindlessly. Like a zombie. I know it's hard because your brain craves that instant hit of dopamine whenever it can. Then you just succumb to the lizard brain, one of the most ancient part of the brain, the oldest part, right? This is where your primal sort of urges comes from. Okay, your instinct to survive, your instinct to be comfortable, it comes from here. If you cannot resist it, oh man, I'm sorry. And just like that, the vicious cycles continue. Just like your own movie premiere, it never ceases to stop on incessant spirals of negativity. But here's the most important part. The only person that could help you is yourself. And I'm just here giving you the information and the blueprint, right? And you're, you must be the one, you have to be the one to execute it. To save yourself, you are the only person that knows what you are really, no, only, honestly, most truthfully thinking about what's going on in this, in this brain of yours. So the last thing that you want to do is to be untruthful with yourself. Just stop. Just stop. Stop denying things. Stop being in denial. Drop that ego. Look at things for how it is. Stop being like princess or prince. Just stop. You're, you're not specials. You're not like a delicate snowflakes. And I think Tyler Durden from the movie Fight Clubs said this best. Take it away. You are not special. You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. You are the same decaying organic matter as everything else. Reality is the big world. Right? The big world that you are living in. That you will someday adventure out on your own you will fall but that's just how it is everything will be okay in the end if it's not okay it's not the end now you either can sit there complaining whining about your life about how unfortunate you are or you decide to take actions to improve your life to actually move forwards. And if you are watching this video, so I can tell you that you're on the right track, buddy. All right, keep it going. And this leads me to step number two. Okay, step number two will be about how to untangle your thoughts. All right, and just a prerequisite, um, promise me that you will do it because if you don't and totally you know neglect this it will not work no music no movies no noise no nothing it's just you the moment that you close your eyes thoughts gonna come bubbling up like a hot steamy pot of boiling water you know what i mean and with each one let it come naturally don't try to fight it don't try to judge it don't don't try to tack it is it like a positive thoughts or negative thoughts don't do that all right just let it be and it will come to a point when your mind cannot not produce any more thoughts anymore it's your mental inbox is full and one by one resolve it one by one asking these questions why am I feeling this? Why is this happening? Okay, what is the positive side of this? And um, is this things in my control? Those are very sensible questions to self query. Right? And do it until, like Naval have said, do it until. Your mental inbox go from full to empty. And 
obviously, I can assure you that it sounds a lot easier than it looks. Okay, but you can do it. The hardest part is when you actually start to do it. The beginning, right? Can you force yourself? Can you, you no know, save some times to sit without doing nothing? <laughs> Now that is hard. <laughs> Can you sit there quietly in a room? No, being comfortable with your own silence. Now that is the hardest part. For step number three, we're going to consolidate and reinforce. You can look at this as sort of a long-term solution to your mental health issues. Right, the first one that always pray so much. Of course, you guys have seen this coming. Is to exercise not only super absolute beneficials for your physical health but also your mental health as well just imagine this when you are about to do a complex compound movement you have to be present right the exercise self demands you to stay in the moment right to focus the concentration level is so high because you need that you need to be able to lift that heavy ass weight and also to activate the right muscles and to perfect the forms, right? It tunes you in into reality and into the present itself. Number two is journaling, right? And I've been, no, I have to admit that I've been quite inconsistent with journaling before. And just recently for a couple of months, I've really got seriously into it and honestly it's one of the reasons why one of the main factors that helped me to stay so calm in everyday life and there are a lot of ways that you can journal you have gratitude journaling uh, you have um, sort of a reflective journaling okay and also um, and also mindfulness journaling and they do resemble each others in a lot of ways. All demand you to be present, right? To write out all of your thoughts, what you're thinking right there, write it down, okay? Everything, okay? Treat your own journals as your own therapist, that you're talking to someone, right? And like Anne Frank has said, paper are more patient than people. Okay, it's kind of like you are mm, typing down data right from your brain. You're downloading data from your brain into your journal and save it as a hard drive. All right, it mitigates, it alleviates so much of stress and anxiety in your brain. It just makes you feel so light and so delighted and so peaceful. You know, you have to try it to believe it right it really works and for the last exercise mental exercise that you can do it's of course meditation and I have to admit I have to confess that um, I've not been so consistent with meditations I know and you might know as well the myriads of benefits that comes with meditation and honestly, I could not like help you guys much with meditation because me myself, I'm still trying to nail meditation down as a habit. But you could feel free to look up online for other like the mindfulness mindfulness expert online on how how to meditate properly and all of that. Do your own research. No, leave a comment down below on how do you feel. No, what outcomes? What result did you get? right it would be very fun to hear about you and you have my guarantee 100 percent that it will work that's your part you just need to put in the work and actually execute right and tell me what you think down below because everyone deserves moments of tranquility in their life a moment of peace thank you so much for watching to the end if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. 
If you have something to say, something to ask me about, hit me up in the comment sections or even DM me on my social media platforms. And、uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care, stay strong, and remember to stay in the present moment. All right, take care.